Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we will see the problems in exercise 2.3. So here is our first problem. Fill in the blanks in the table. One is done for you. So in the table they gave the blanks and we have to fill those blanks. Okay. And the first one is already they done. So see the second one 5636.1 divided by 100 so 5636.1 divided by 100 whenever we will divide with 100 the decimal point moves towards left side here how many zeros two zeros so the decimal point moves two digits left side so it will be 56.1 361 okay so here 374.9 is there and it became 0 0.3749 that means the decimal point moves three place values left side so three place values means thousand we have to divide with thousand and in fourth one here one number is there and it became 2.0164 okay when we divide with this thousand the decimal point moves left right here three zeros are there so the decimal point shift three digits so that means what is the original position of the decimal point after six so that's what we'll write okay 2016 point Four. that will be the answer so for in the fifth one 123.0 is there when we divide with 100 what is its value here two zeros are there so the decimal point moves two place values left so 1.23 it becomes 1.23 so in the sixth one 1300.7 is there and it became 1.3 that means the the decimal point shift three places left right so three places means we have to put three zeros after one so in this blank thousand we have to write so i think you are getting my point very easily so i already told you how to divide the decimals so i am giving that link the introduction to this exercise 2.3 please watch it carefully so in the in our seventh one we divide a number with 10 and the decimal point moves one one digit left side right so in the beginning it is 590.0 okay so like this we can fill the blanks when we divide with 10 the decimal point shift when we divide with 10 the decimal point shift left one place value when we divide with 100 the decimal point shift left two place values when we divide with 1000 the decimal point shift three place values always left side left side when we divide with 10000 there are four zeros so it shift four place values to the left okay so in second problem solve the following a decimal number is given no? so it is normal division only okay so this is 5.51 by 2 so 5.51 we have to divide with the 2 2 2 is a 4 so you can cancel here only 2 2 is a 4 then here 1 will be there but decimal point is there no so put this decimal point in the quotient and bring this 5 down so 1 5 15 so 2 7 is a 14 2 7 is a 14 you have to do like this cancellation this division just for your understanding i am telling so 14 so here 1 will be there again 1 comes down so now it will be 11 so 2 5 is a 10 
two fives are ten. One will be there, no? So we cannot leave one as reminder. Okay? We have to do until we get the reminder zero, as many steps as possible. Otherwise, we can leave sometimes. So here decimal point is there. So put the zero. We can add the zero to right side. So now two fives are ten. So it is two point seven five five. What is its value? Two point seven five five. Okay. Our second one thirty eight point four divided by three. Thirty-eight point four divided by three. So write thirty-eight point four by three. So three ones are three. Three twos are six. Here two will be there, no? So two for twenty-four. Put the decimal point and three eights are twenty-four. So this will be twelve point eight. So what is the answer here? Twelve point eight. So now third one fifty seven point three one. Fifty seven point three one. Sorry, three nine by six. Okay. So right fifty seven point three nine divided by six. Just imagine you are doing this division. Okay, do the calculation. Six nines are fifty-four, so three will be there. So put the point. Now it will be thirty-three. Six fives are thirty. Again three will be there. It will be thirty-nine. Six six are thirty-six. Again three will be there, but point is there no. So it will it will be thirty. Six fives are thirty. So nine point five six five. is the answer for this okay so again i am telling the normal division here see 69 of 54 3 will be there here decimal point is there put this in the quotient and bring down this 3 65 30 30 30 after subtracting here 30. and again 9 will be 9 comes down 66 36 Three will be there. It is less than six, and here decimal point is there, so we can add one zero. Now six five is a thirty. Reminder is zero. Okay, so like this, you can solve this division. So our fourth one five sixty two point one divided by eleven. So here five sixty two point one by eleven. Okay, you can multiply with ten by ten. Okay, but doing directly is foremost better than that. Eleven fives are fifty-five. One will be there, no? So it will be twelve. Eleven ones are eleven. Again, one will be there, and point one one eleven. Eleven ones are eleven. So it will be fifty-one point one. Okay, so normal division. Eleven, eleven fives are fifty-five. So one will be there. Bring these two down. So eleven ones are eleven and one. Okay. And now here decimal point is there. Put this decimal point here and bring this one down. Eleven, eleven ones are eleven. So in this way. Fifty one point one. All this division process should be done in your brain. Okay, in simple calculation. Just to save the time. So in fifth problem, zero point seven double zero five divided by five. So write zero point seven double zero five by five. So five zero point Five ones are five. Okay, two will be there, no? Then five fours are twenty. Zero, five ones. So it will be zero point one four zero one. Okay, I think you are getting my point. Or otherwise, you can do this process also.
टेक दिस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो जीरो फाइव एंड यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विथ फोर डिजिट्स और देर सो फोर जीरो सॉफ्ट वन दैट इज टेन थाउजेंड वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस विल बिकम नॉर्मल नंबर बाई टेन थाउजेंड एंड द डिनोमिनेटर इज फाइव सेम राइट सो नाउ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन डबल जीरो फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव इक्वल्स टू दिस सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव बाई टेन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव फाइव मीन्स फाइव बाई वन राइट so now and now 7005 by 1000 this division will become into or 1 by so this is the reciprocal 5 by 1 becomes 1 by 5 now cancel 5 ones are 5 5 fours are 20 0 5 so this will be 14 not 1 by 1000 so after one three zeros are there so put the decimal point from right side after three digits 1 2 3 so sorry it is 10000 right so four zeros are there so put the decimal point from the right side after four so 1 4 0 these are the four digits point 0 so 0.140 either this process or either this process whatever you feel easy you can do that process okay so next problem 9.99 by 3 so you can cancel in very easy way 33 or 9 33 or 9 33 or 9 so it will be 3.33 that's it so next our seventh one 13 divided by 6.5 okay so What is six rupees plus six rupees? Six plus six, it will be twelve. Half rupee plus half rupee will be one rupee. So totally thirteen. That means six rupees fifty paise and six rupees fifty paise will become thirteen rupees, right? So now here thirteen divided by six point five, we will get two as the answer. Okay? See this. So thirteen divided by I can write this six point five as sixty five by ten, right? And we multiply. Otherwise, we can write six point five is equal to one digit is there, so we are multiplying with ten by ten. So then it will be sixty five by ten. Okay. So thirteen divided by this six point five will be. Thirteen divided by sixty-five by ten. So in the place of division, we'll write into, and now this fraction will get reverse. That means reciprocal of sixty-five by ten is ten by sixty-five. So now thirteen five zero sixty-five five ones five two zero ten. So this will be two. So finally, thirteen divided by six point five will be two. Okay. so this is the answer for this and our next one 10.01 divided by 11 so here two digits are there after decimal point right so you can directly cancel first time saving directly 11 is here and 10 is here it cannot divide na small number Because ten is smaller than eleven, it won't divide. So put zero point. So then it will be hundred, right? So eleven nines are ninety nine, and one will be there. Eleven ones are eleven. So the answer is zero point nine nine. Or otherwise, you can do like this: ten point zero one is equal to two digits or there. So multiply with hundred by hundred. Then it will be one thousand one by hundred. So now ten point zero one divided by eleven equals to. In the place of this, we we'll write one thousand one by hundred divided by eleven. Now divided by will become c into, and this eleven by one will become one by eleven. 
if nothing we cannot see in the denominator means there is one we can assume there is one okay one undi ani manam anukuntam 11 is nothing but 11 by 1 so here we we can cancel 11 9s are 99 and 11 ones are 9. so 91 by 100 two zeros are there after the one so put the decimal point after two digits from right side so it will be 0 0.91 you can do like this okay Our ninth one 8 divided by 0 0.32 so take this here we have to divide a whole number with the decimal okay so write 8 by 0 0.32 so here in the denominator two digits are there after decimal point so multiply with 100 by 100 so this will be 800 by the decimal point moves right side when we multiply with the two zeros so it will be 32 now normal division you can do okay otherwise with the four table four eights are 32 four twos are eight right so 200 again with eight again with two we can do two fours are eight and two hundreds now four ones four 25s so finally this will be 20 okay again i am i am explaining cancellation c 32 so for 2s are 8 4 8s are 32 so i am cancelling this so it becomes 200 by 8 now again we can divide 4 2s are 8 and 4 5s are 20 so this is 50 by 2 so what is half in 50 25 so this will be 25 so all this cancellation has done here in one step okay 25 or otherwise you can do directly division with 32 okay 3 twos are 6 so 32 twos are 2 twos are 4 2 threes are 6 64 so here 6 will be there and 1 will be there it is 160 so 32 5 is a 160 so it is easy so like this you can solve so the last one in this problem 320.1 divided by 33 so write 320.1 by 33 okay so now just multiply with 10 by 10 because one point is there after decimal point so it will be 3201 by 33 into 10 okay we will write same 33 into 10 now we can cancel this 311 is a and 3 1s are 3, 2 will be there. We cannot divide now. So put 0 and bring down another number. Then 3 6s are 18. And 2 will be there. 3 7s are 21. Again with 11. 11 9s are 99. And 5 7 will be there. No? 99. 7 will be there. So it will be. 11 7 is a 77 so 97 by 10 that is 9.7 so in this way you can do the division in an easy way okay